Hello and welcome to this new episode of Euro TV News. Every day to go to work, to go to school, we must use transport. Have you already wondered since when we have been using them? Yes, because nowadays they belong entirely to our lives. And we may think this has always been the case, but not really. To begin with, the first trim train ever in the world was on the 21st of February 1804 at Penny Down, a mining area of Wales. It was created by the engineer Richard Redithick and its train could carry 10 tons and 60 people. In France, the first railway was built by the French engineer Bonnier in 1827 between Saint Etienne and Andrézieux, and it was open on 20 kilometers to transport coals. At that time, it was a big innovation. There were a lot of other transport breakthroughs, for example, the underground. The first underground was created by the engineer Charles Pearson on the 10th of January 1863 in England, which was called Metropolitan Railway. The metro carriage was towed by steam locomotives, but it was problematic because the steam couldn't escape from the tunnels and there were ventilation problems. Now the underground of London is called London Underground and nicknamed the tube. To enable exchanges across continents, planes were built, so the first commercial flight happened on the 5th of May 1952 between London and Johannesburg with a jetliner. There were 36 passengers who travelled with the British airline BOAC, British Overseas Airways Corporation, for 17 hours. To finish with, I'm pretty sure that you have already heard about the Titanic, but do you know that the first touristic cruise happened in 1844 and was created by P&O, a maritime company? The streamer carried 37 first-class passengers and 16 second-class passengers between England and Egypt for six weeks. There were stops such as Lisbon, Cadiz, Gibraltar, Athens, Constantinople and Alexandria. Therefore, transports are the result of innovations, research and industrialization. Nevertheless, we are not out of the woods yet, because our clothes, livestock farming and cremation are the most important causes of pollution. Thanks for watching our new episode of Euro TV News.